mother. She never imagined that her boy would make it out of Brownsville. I was the youngest heavyweight champion of the world. Always angry, fighting, losses. How did this happen? At the time, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. This is my story, my mistake, my heartache, my joy, my sorrow, my gift, my life. What's harder for you, in your opinion, being in the ring or being on stage? Well, it depends on who I'm fighting and what, what audience I have. <laughs> you know, it's the same emotions. Um, you worry about feeling because you feel the people's energy is live. It's like a fight, it's live, and you don't want to fail in, your, in front of your face, in front of a live audience. That's why filming movies is so much easier because you get the finished product and you you, um, you produce it to the people. Mm -hmm. And But um, I used to love doing both. Do you find any similarities in the two Oh, movies? 100%. You have to entertain the people. They want to be happy or they want emotions. You got to feed off their emotions. And you have to um, know what they want. You have to feel what they want, then you have to give it to them right there, tenth of a second, split second. You have to be in sync with them. Were there any stage performers in particular that you watched in uh, preparation? Chaz Palminteri. I watched him do a Bronx stage, Bronx tale on stage. That's where I get my, I base my show around him doing his mm -hmm. show, talking about his neighborhood and his life, and that's why I said, well, I can, I can explain to my wife, I think I can do this, because I normally in Europe and Asia, I do my show talking about my life, but I'm taking questions from the audience and I said in this particular incident I won't take questions I do like Mr. Palmateri from an artistic perspective and it was very successful. During the performance you joked about how Brooklyn has changed. Uh, what are some of the biggest differences you've seen in Brooklyn compared to when you were growing up to now? Integration. Um, different ethnic groups especially Caucasian groups and places <laughs> where they would never ever dream of going at one particular time. They built this new um, arena. Barclays Center? Barclays. Yeah. That's just amazing. That's the best thing I think ever happened to Brooklyn since the Brooklyn Dodgers. I mean, it's just um, just amazing. It was just amazing. There's something that Brooklyn needed to give Brooklyn the dignity and respect that it needed from not a from not a negative perspective. You know, Brooklyn always have a neighborhood where the tough guys at and don't go there because people will hurt you or kill you or rob you or whatever. But now the, um, I believe the bar can give us um, a sense of dignity and a, pl a place, a sense of um, sensibility where you want to be there and love and happiness where you just feel good being there. So let's talk about some boxing. Okay. Uh, who are your favorite fighters of today? Jenis Mendez. I, I signed this young kid who's an up and coming fighter who's going to be Olympic hopeful to make the team and win a gold medal and stuff. And then Erickson and Lubin. You know, um, Danito, Denier. I like him. I like um, I like the great Cuban fighter. Um, what was his name? Uh, Rigandau. Rigandau yeah. great. Floyd is great. There's a lot of great um, Kodos coming back. Mm -hmm. He's always, Kodos just amazing. He always yeah. comes back. He just always comes back. He gave Floyd his toughest fight to date, I believe. But, you know, you just don't know what Kodos you're going to get. Now, he's at yeah. the stage you don't know what you're going to get. Before, he's just sensational. And now, he could be, he could fight a great fight mm -hmm. all of a sudden. Then you don't know. But he's still fighting great. You know, so um, it's just a bunch of guys out there. Um, Andre Ward is sensational. You can't take that away from him. Bernard Hopkins is still doing good. Um, Pastel is it's a bunch of them. This guy Stevenson is doing good mm -hmm. now. Yeah. It's just quite, oh, Flock is always a good, exciting fighter to watch, too, you know? He's always a good fighter to watch. Can't take that away from him. There's quite a few people out there that's not getting the credit they deserve and getting the money they deserve. That has to do with um, the officials and the promoters. They're not giving these guys a fair shake. Normally when you see fights, they're not competitive fights, and you know who's going to win before the fight's over, mm -hmm. before it even starts, really. What do you think about the state of the heavyweight division right now? The Klitschko's are doing what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to beat everybody they have to fight. But the reality is that nobody wants to hurt them. They don't have the desire to hurt these guys. Even if they can't fight, they just have the desire to even try to hurt them. Mm -hmm. Have no bad intention in fighting and wanting to hurt these guys, and that's a lot that's missing in fighting. The attention. I know that, that doesn't sound politically correct, of course, but this is fighting. Mm -hmm. It's what people want. People want people to be knocked out. People want people to be hurt. And it's bad when you say that because we're in the we're in the era of safety now. Yeah. You don't want people to be hurt. We want to um, we want to move to another level of the game where fighters can fight hard and they don't have as many brain damages or concussions or too many injuries. But, but unfortunately, in this game in football, I don't care how good you are, you're going to get hurt somewhere along the line. Yeah. yeah, I know you're a huge UFC fan. Yeah, big time. Uh, who are some of your favorite fighters? Oh, man, St. Pierre's great, man. 
the Diaz brothers are great, man. There's so many great. Um, I always the oh, the Soto was great. Vasquez is mm. great. All those got man. There's a bunch of great fighters. Man, it's just, there's a lot. What do you think John about John Jones? Is off the hook. Yeah, he is off he is. the hook. Fedor Emilianko was mm -hmm. great. Man, it's a bunch of great fighters. So you've had many nicknames during your fighting career: Kid Dynamite, Iron Mike, the Baddest Man on the Planet. Which one do you prefer? I don't like the Baddest Man on the Planet. When I was young, I did, but it's, um, it's caused so much trouble and stuff. Mm -hmm. Gave people the wrong perspective. It wasn't good. It wasn't good energy. Yeah. So you know, just I and Mike was good, I guess. Michael. <laughs> I wish it was just Michael Tyson. <laughs> but, yeah. My mentor told me the way you fight your fight be the way you live your life. I never quit again. And then I make a deal with the devil. Knock, knock, knock. Only in America. Boom. I'm just very grateful that life has come full circle for me. It's been a long one with many highs and many lows, but it's molded me into the man who stands before you. This is my undisputed truth.